Salam Sahati Sejiwa The Sarawak government will not issue any new licenses for the expansions of oil palm plantation in line with its commitment to halt the enlargement. Primary Industries Minister Teresa Kok said the accusation that Malaysia is trying to expand its plantation area is not true as both Sabah and Sarawak have given their commitment not to do so. As for Peninsula Malaysia, she noted that there were also consensus by all states pertaining the expansion issue. Addressing concerns of major importing markets for certified sustainable palm oil, she said Malaysia in May 2017 agreed to implement the MSPO certifications on a mandatory basis by December 31, 2019. She added the government would not extend the deadline for now, despite concerns that small holders might not be able to abide by the rules. Police have arrested three more individuals to assist in investigations into last week's riots at the Sri Maha Mariman Temple at USJ 25 Subang Jaya. Selangor Police Chief Dato Mazlan Manso said the trio were detained around the city between last night and this morning. With their arrest, he said the police have detained 102 men comprising 49 Malays, 44 Indians, 1 Chinese and 8 Indian Muslims. The November 26 fracas resulted the rioters burn 23 vehicles, damage a building and disturb public peace. The riots in Paris in decade were sparked by higher fuel taxes and French President Emmanuel Macron responded by scrapping them on Wednesday. But taxes on fossil fuels are just what international climate negotiators meeting in Poland this week say they are desperately needed to help win the war off of fossil fuels and slow climate change. Economists, policymakers and politicians have long said the best way to fight climate change is to put a higher price on the fuels that occur, causing it gasoline, diesel, coal and natural gas. Taxing fuels and electricity could help pay for the damage they cause, encourage people to use less and make it easier for cleaner alternative and fuel-saving technologies to compete. Well, that's all for me and Mano Ruben. Thank you.